Hi everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate in my office. <laughs> and today I want to talk to you about goals and goal setting when it comes to ride share, food delivery, and all the other things that are, go along with the gig economy. Specifically, I want to talk about SMART goals. Specific, measurable, attainable, repeatable, and time-bound. These are the kinds of goals that you are going to need if you want to succeed when it comes to the gig economy. And this applies to anything that you're doing, and I think this is really going to help you out. So in 1981, George Doran, Arthur Miller, and James Cunningham wrote an article about setting SMART goals for uh, business managers. And although this is kind of specific to management in a traditional business, the principles still apply. There'll be a link to the article below. It's only two pages and it's, it's really going to help you out when you're thinking about how you want to set the goals in your business. So let's get into these goals. The first one, specific. Your goals need to be specific. Now, some of you might say, well, okay, my goal is I want to make $1,000 a week. Well, $1,000 a week, okay, that's okay. You got something that's time bound, but get even more specific than that. I want to make $1,000 a week on Uber, doing ride share in however many hours you think you can do that in, right? 30 hours. Make sure that you're goals are very specific because if they're not specific, you can't measure them, right? I want to make more money doing gig work is not a specific goal. You need to get very, very specific and granular with your goals when you're setting them because you cannot measure what's what you don't know. So measurable, I mentioned that the more specific the goal is, the easier it is to measure. Right. If you if your goal is I want to average twelve dollars per delivery, you can measure that. You know that I went out on X Y Z night and I made ten deliveries and I made one hundred and thirty dollars. Right. So that's thirteen dollars per delivery. Those things that you can control, those things that you can measure, those are the things that are going to help you know if you're able to attain your goals. So that gets us to the letter A, attainable. Is this goal actually attainable? Can you earn $1,000 a week in your market? Can you earn $2,000 a week in your market? The only way you're going to know that is if you get out on the road, do the work, and f figure out whether or not that goal is attainable. So for most people saying, I want to earn $150,000 a year doing gig work, that's not an attainable goal for them. All right. You don't have 80 hours a week to work. You're not in a market where it will support that kind of income. These are all things that you need to think about. Is that goal actually attainable in your market? And from season to season, a lot of people right now are talking about how things have been slowing down with food delivery. Are you going to be able attain, to attain that goal right now? Or do you need to adjust that goal based on the platforms that you're on and the market that you're in? So your goals also have to be repeatable. You can't just go out and make a goal that you can't repeat every single week, every single month, every single year. If you can't repeat the goal, it's not a good one. So for example, Let's say you set a goal to earn $2,000 a week, all right, um, on Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub combined, $2,000 a week. Well, you know, on a busy week, that's you might be able to do that. You're out there hustling, you put in 50, 60 hours, but you find out that next week, oh man, uh, I can't work 60 hours because I have these other commitments. And so you only make $1,500 that week. And then the week after that, well, I, I got car trouble or whatever, and there's not enough money in, in, in the bank. So I got to wait until 
uh, Uncle Joe pays me uh, back from the money that I loaned him so that I can get my car fixed and you only manage to do about $500 that week. You have to be able to repeat that every week. That's why your goal needs to be attainable. If, if your goal is sky high, cloud, now listen, I'm not, I'm not talking about aspirations and dreams. I'm talking about goals, okay? What is your goal when you're earning money? I have an overarching goal to earn $5,000 a year doing gig work because I do it part-time. And so that breaks down to what? $100 a week. Uh, and then if I'm going to go out five days a week, maybe, right? So we're talking $20 a day. To, that's very repeatable. It's simple to do. And it, it's a goal that I can achieve and repeat every single year, every single day, every single week. You get the picture. Finally, your goals need to be time bound. You can't just say, I want to earn $5,000 right? So I'm saying I want to earn $5,000 in a year. So it's time bound because if you don't put time limits on it, Hey, you know, Hey, I want to earn $150,000 doing ride share. Well, maybe in 10 years, 10 or 15 years, I'll have earned $150,000 doing ride share. I don't know, maybe, but if I don't set a, a, a time on it, a time limit on earning that again, if it's not time bound, I can't measure it. If it's not time bound, I can't repeat it. So all of these kind of principles when it comes to goal setting interlock and interlace with one another in order for you to know if you have a good goal when it comes to gig work. So let's go over that one more time. Your goals need to be specific. They need to be measurable. They need to be attainable. They need to be repeatable and they need to be time bound. Okay, so very simple to talk about, not so simple to implement. I would encourage you to take some time to sit down and look at your earnings. Hopefully you're tracking how much you earn every week. Look at your earnings and see, okay, what goals do I want to set? Do I want to increase my income? Do I want to drive fewer hours and earn the same money, right? Those, you see what I'm saying? Your gold shouldn't necessarily be, I want to earn this much money. Maybe your goal is to reduce the number of hours that you're driving so you can spend more time with your family. And there may be other ways to meet that goal. It could be by budgeting differently, or it could be by taking more profitable gigs. Whatever the case is, you need to figure out what your goal is, set a SMART goal, and execute on it. And I would suggest you have a large overarching goal and then go down. So on each platform that you work for, this is my goal with this platform. This is my goal with this platform. This is my goal with this platform. Each one should have a specific, measurable, attainable, repeatable, and time-bound goal so that you can reach your overall goal and be successful when it comes to work in the gig economy. Hey, my name is John from Ride Up State. I appreciate your time. If you like this video, hey, give it a like. And if you want to see the content come out and it's earned your subscription, I would appreciate uh, you subscribing to the channel as well. That's all for this video. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.